My name is Mike Okovich and uh, we train in at Construction Robotics and I wanted to go through exactly what you're going to do when you come up to a mule first thing in the morning. Once it's all assembled, you've got the controller hooked up. First thing you're going to do is come in and power it up. Then you hear the compressor kick on. There's a rotation lock. Once that pressure builds up, you're going to see the rotation lock pop up automatically. Now the arm will rotate. And that's it as far as powering up. Come over to the controller. And you're going to wait a bit. It's going to have to go through a cycle and it's going to, you're going to see the indicators on the screen light up. Recording data, blue lights on. It's going to be left in float mode. At this point, you're going to be able to to move it up and down freely. Two buttons. The bottom one is going to be your grip and release. Top one is going to add a little bit of weight. We'll show you that. So you're going to come down onto the block, grab it. The very first unit you're going to calibrate. And you do that right here with this button. Hold it in. Comes up as soon as you release it. It's gonna weigh the unit. In this case, it's 64 pounds. At this point, any unit you pick up is gonna get 64 pounds of assistance. You only have to do this once. It's stored in memory. When you come in the next day, it'll be locked in. At this point, the unit is weightless. When you're approaching the wall, if you wanna give it a little bit of weight, you hit this top button. We refer to it as a set button and it'll give it a little less assistance and you're basically carrying about 10 pounds. That allows you to have a little more control when you're setting down into the mud. When you get down close, you hit the release and it goes into a routine, floats right into the mortar bed.